The White House says Donald Trump will meet the U.S. Deputy Attorney General on Thursday. That's after reports suggesting Rod Rosenstein is about to leave his position just days after media alleged that he was proposing to secretly tape Donald Trump's calls. For more now, I'm joined by Artie's Caleb Morgan. Caleb, but uh, how could this affect the U.S. political landscape and why is it so important? So all across the media, we were hearing unsubstantiated reports that Rod Rosenstein, the deputy attorney general who's overseeing the investigation into Donald Trump for allegedly colluding with Russia, all across the media, we were seeing reports that he had uh, verbally given his resignation in anticipation of being fired. Well, we now have Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the White House press spokesperson, coming forward um, and saying that that is not the case, that Donald Trump just had a phone conversation uh, with Rod Rosenstein and that once Donald Trump returns from the United Nations uh, on Thursday when he's back in Washington, D.C., Rod Rosenstein and Trump will be meeting in person. Now, the reason that there was so much speculation that Rod Rosenstein had resigned or was possibly going to be fired by Trump was in response to reports that he had, had actually called for recording Donald Trump, tape recording Trump's phone conversations and other statements, and then using the recordings to make the case that Donald Trump could be removed under the 25th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution as uh, essentially mentally incapable of being president. 25th Amendment uh, lays out procedures for the president president to be removed if he's rendered mentally incapable of holding his office. Now, when those reports surfaced last week, uh, Donald Trump was pressed about his reaction to Rod Rosenstein and all of this. Um, he was pressed. This is how Donald Trump responded when asked if he would fire Rod Rosenstein for suggesting uh, that he be removed after recording his phone calls. Take a listen. Uh, we are looking at it, Geraldo. It's very early. We just uh, read the reports, uh, you know, very shortly, very, you know, the various reports that came out and have been coming out. And uh, I, we will make uh, a determination. But it is certainly uh, a very sad story when you see it. Now, if indeed Rod Rosenstein had been fired, that would have been a big blow to the investigation. As he is overseeing this alleged uh, collusion investigation, uh, he's working with Bob Mueller. He is the deputy attorney general. Um, however, it appears that those reports were not accurate, uh, that they did have a phone conversation. They intend to meet on Thursday. Uh, there has been no resignation from Rod Rosenstein. Now, the investigation, the uh, investigation into alleged collusion with Russia by Donald Trump during the 2016 presidential election. That investigation continues despite going on for almost two years uh, without really uh, discovering any clear results. So a lot of questions are being raised, uh, but the investigation seems to proceed. And Rod Rosenstein will be meeting with Donald Trump on Thursday at the White House.